Good evening, Mayor, sure. City Council, um, members. Uh, wow. My name is Chris Williams. I reside at uh, 1441 Welcome Road, uh, Lake Forest, Cabin Mountain area. Um, wow. I came down tonight really to kind of give a few suggestions, um, not to debate the rec center where it should be built or should it be built or should, should not it be built. Um, and my heart goes out to the people of Truxton. Really, it does. I, I, I grew up in uh, um, College Park on County Street, uh, Midtown. And uh, we have always had somewhere to go. We had that little basketball court uh, right across from Kenner Wright's mother's house. Um, and it's, it's always been a, a real productive basketball court. I don't really think you can ever record a crime being done at that basketball court. Um, and uh, I'm proud to say that it was that basketball court that really uh, helped me to, uh, to mature. It really helped me to grow. Um, I kind of, I'm kind of rambling because it's, you know, I want to say some things, but you got to be real careful sometimes because people can be real vindictive. Um, Mr. Moody, I, I really, I, I look at you a lot on TV, sir, and out of due respect, I will always respect the office of a city councilman. I will always respect the office of a, uh, of a official. Um, and I really try to remain open-minded. I really do. I really you know, when it comes to, you know, your delivery and some of the things that you say. But my background, I didn't all, I stopped playing basketball and I went to the left. And so I had the, the privilege of, you know, being on the corners and watching the guys play dice and learning how to play dice from looking over their shoulders. And I've had the privilege of going into some houses where some under the table uh, dealings was taking place. And you know, when I look at the city council sometimes, I think I'm in some of those rooms. <laughs> really, really, I, for, because of my makeup and because of my expertise when it comes to dirty business, I'm that guy. You know, I'm literally speaking because I, you know, I'm not there anymore by the grace of God. I've been able to, you know, change my way of thinking and change my way of dealing. But when I look at, when I be at home and really look at the city council, I'm like, they, 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 they right at the line of criminal behavior. <laughs> Seriously, with some of the things, some of the ways and some of the things that y'all, y'all come about with things just like tonight, I'm like, wow. That's what, that's what we used to do in the back room. You know, and, and, and it's just, it, it, it just kind of, it, it amazes me how you, you really think that we are blind and we, we can't really see what's happening and what you're doing and what your agenda is. And, and I can almost see who pushing you. <laughs> Literally. I can see who pushing you. And it's just, you know, it's just sad that we can go out Swanson Home, we can go out Lincoln Park, we can go out Je police everywhere. But then you, you look behind Lincoln Park Center and the basketball goals ain't even there. You look behind Swanson, but you see police everywhere. And I'm not saying that police is not needed. But you, you got to give kids a choice whether to have a basketball or the game bang, whether to have a football or to sell drugs. You got to give them a choice in the inner city. I don't, I don't denounce churchland. I don't denounce the other parts of the city. But if you go out churchland, you got, you, like, you got basketball goals, you got, you got tennis uh, 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 arenas. I mean, I, I'm talking about all over the place. And then you, ha you got lights. <laughs> Literally, you got lights. 
You, 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 you can barely find a light on any basketball court downtown Portsmouth. 